My name is Rubina Raja. And I'm Søren Sindbæk. And we are the founding editors of the Journal of Urban Archaeology. We would have liked to be with you in person to present this new journal, but due to the travel restrictions and um, lockdowns uh, this year, we can't be with you. So here we are virtually launching this new journal. And Rubina, what is the Journal of Urban Archaeology? The well, Journal of Urban Archaeology is a new, exciting journal that focuses exclusively on urban archaeology, urban societies on a millennia long scale and with a global focus as well. We'll be covering exciting themes in the volumes to come on a range of urban archaeology topics. And we're looking very much forward to going on this journey with all our colleagues worldwide. But Søren, do you remember why it was that we wanted to found this journal? I do. Uh, we were, we've been working on this theme obviously for years and we found it was actually curious. A lot of people around the world identify what they do professionally as urban archaeology. And yet there is no common forum for people to share experiences across the world. Everything has taken place regionally uh, within journals or in very general archaeology uh, journals. So we wanted to make this forum where we can debate the spot problems and uh, agendas that are specific to urban archaeology. And this is what this journal will be. So uh, we have the first volume out now. And Rubina, what is it? What have we come to? The first volume we've called an agenda volume. So it's a volume that really broadly covers different topics, again, on a global scale with um, leading urban archaeologists who we've brought into dialogue with each other, um, thematically focusing on a range of different urban sites and urban sites of different periods. So we range from um, the Far East over the Mediterranean to Northern Europe um, in order to get a broad range of perspectives on urban archaeology. So on the one hand, it's both um, foci on high definition archaeology, on what's going on in the field and how that brings new perspectives on how we do urban archaeology, but we also have theoretical papers that deal with sizes and scalings of urban society over time. And the rest is really for you to discover. So uh, please enjoy the journal. We're happy to have you as readers and we would be happy to welcome you as contributors to the Journal of Urban Archaeology.